Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? How the hell... Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, but Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this.
butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. filtering for all homes built on that date. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually, one of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. 
but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. with a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! I'm going inside. Fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. The belt. It's caked in blood. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. 
Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. This room, this is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. One piece apart from the others. Purple. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... The highlighted words read, To Arkham. That drawing looks like Alfred. using this chalk, but there must be more to it. using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself, his suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from me? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. 
You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. Pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, 
Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler. Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. Deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men to carry this... <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is just a tool. I could never do my job if people knew who I really was. Really? Well, I was hoping for something a little more interesting. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath.
Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said. I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Concern I don't have for you. Huh. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. That man, don't you? Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you care. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one.
them will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend.
That's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. After that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did. So we can all move forward. Well, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention... <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country. 
in keeping with the vision of its founders. to lock up. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> 